Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Rising Phoenix One, and you know, I was getting ready to put up a uh, a video just sort of lamenting the card choices on this one. We'll talk about them in a minute. I figured I'd claim two, and then I'd just grind out whatever I could grind out the rest of the promo. So I did claim two. They were pretty easy to get and not expensive. And this popped up on the left-hand side. Um, this is a Grandmaster Bam Adebayo. He is a 95 strategic center, which is something we need. Um, and this might be the card that sort of saves, <laughs> saves this promo. Um, and let's talk why. All right. We just got a match. And uh, so if we go here and we look at, this is the round one of the playoffs. Um, where is it? Where is it here? Yeah. So, uh, you know, Middleton at small forward. Yeah, we don't need that. We've got higher rated power small forwards, maybe AD, maybe AD, right? Um, that was the one I was going to grind for. And if I could grind, uh, no money spent and get that one in Middleton before this was over, then I'd take them. And as soon as they're auctionable, I'd, I'd sell Middleton if I could. Um, and then go ahead and claim Davis at the sip of coffee. So uh, I figured I'd get PG-13 just because, you know, I mean, I don't know that he can replace T-Max starting, but at least he doesn't have the, uh, that 77 shooting touch, although his contested shot is kind of low. His defense is great, though. He's a PG-13. He's a two-way player. But his cards have always been sketchy, you know. And then, and then we've got this... Harden, right, at point guard strategic. So what's wrong with this picture? Um, we'll talk about it in a minute because I don't want to, um, ooh, 99 versus 99. So um, we claimed those two cards. I just put them in this lineup just to play with them. Um, you know, Harden, and I've got some pretty good three-point shooting boost. Um, you know, his contested shot is low, and his shooting touch is low. Um, the one good thing I'll say about these two cards is they boosted easily from 93 to 99, so that's that's a good thing. Of course, they got boost sitting underneath them, right? Jim, both of them have gym rat position boost. Um, yeah, the uh, contested shot on PG-13 is low. But uh, <clears throat> let's do our first showdown of the morning and uh, get this out of the way. <laughs> we'll just, you know, this is just, uh, we're just going to go back and forth, I think, with, uh, with Harden and PG-13. This guy's got a great lineup. Um, that's as high as you can get a strategic lineup. And let me just say this. It's incomprehensible to me that Harden is a strategic 93 point guard and PG-13 is a finesse <laughs> um, shooting guard. Switch their game styles for crying out loud, right? We have multiple 93 strategic point guards. We need a 93 st strategic shooting guard. We have multiple 92 plus, right? Um, finesse shooting guards, including a 94 T Mac and a, and a 91 um, boosted. Devin Booker, who is, you know, easily the equivalent of a 93. 
we needed a finesse, or not a finesse, we needed a strategic 93 shooting guard. So, yeah, those are just, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of beyond just head scratcher. It's just like, wow, is anybody paying attention? You know, I assume down the road here in the playoffs, we're going to have some some higher rated cards that will fill those positions. Well, of course, that's a big assumption. Um, how much time we got? We got to play right now. So we'll talk about this a little more and then... The card that may be saving this promo from being a really, really not good promo, which is the 95 Strategic Bam Adebayo, who I think I'll be able to claim tomorrow. 90, did, I, did I say 93? I meant 95. All right. Hope we don't forfeit. Well, you know what? I don't really care. All right, so let's see how Harden can do. Challenge shot, but he drops it. His defensive stats are, by the way, really bad. It's PG-13 over here. Yeah, he is. And he hits two. So that's a pretty good start for those two cards. Of course, you know, one gameplay and nice block, but they get it back. Gosh darn it. No. Don't want to shoot. I know that Durant can shoot. So, so far, so good, huh? But we got a big three-point, a plus 16, well, plus 16 shooting boost all together. Come on. I don't just give it back to him. I don't know. I have a lot of luck with David Robinson, which is why I use him over Jokic. Um, of course, I'm not going to shoot threes with David Robinson, and that's, I mean, Jokic is an absolutely viable three-point shooter. But... Wow, these poor guys have not been able to hit a shot. And we have not missed with our two new cards, so that at least is something, right? But, you know, first gameplay, oftentimes you play a little better. Um, nice rebound for T-Mac. I guess it's PG-13's turn. Let's... Take him over to the far side. Whew, boy. So, you know, I was hoping PG-13 may be just a little bit more consistent than T-Mac has become. It's Harden's turn. Get out of the way, KD. All right. Everybody is just burying their shots, right? You buggers, your last possession, and you bury a three. You bugger. Okay, whose turn is it? Is it uh, Paul George? It is. Tough shot, and he hits it. That's a, that's a pretty good, a 99 versus a 99. I don't know if we win, but I'll take 17 points. 17 point margin anytime pretty easy win all right so those cards just shot great but um and hopefully they'll continue to shoot great right i mean i want them to be good i want them to be good all right <clears throat> so let's go to um, my team what uh, uh, another showdown man we need a new showdown card i i had 
I was full up on my inventory this morning when stuff started loading in. Um, you know, I mean, we don't need to look at the sets. We don't need to look at the at the events. It's pretty standard. You know, you play for points and maybe some cards, and you trade those cards into different sets for points. And with the points, 12000 each. You can buy a 93 and you can also, after you get two, that bam, out of bio pops up and he's 12,000. So that helped a lot. So if we look at this, uh, all right, Davis, power forward, 93. Keep that in mind. Forget Middleton. I mean, this card, you know, uh, no. Just forget Middleton. Uh, Davis, you know, he looks, what's his primary, his, his rebounding looks like it's going to be pretty good. And his athleticism isn't. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think this card's going to probably play pretty good, but do we need it? Not sure we do. Same thing applies with PG-13. We just had a chance to see him play. He played great. Um which I find encouraging because I'm always really high on PG-13 cards. And, I mean, his defensive stats are crazy good. So, And his rebounding is good for a shooting guard. But he's 6'9", so he should rebound. And then Harden, you know, this is the other card. It didn't make any sense. PG-13 and Harden. Uh, really, we have three. <clears throat> PG-13, Harden, and uh, Davis, if you want to look at you could argue that all four of them don't make any sense. All right. Um, and here's Harden. You know, he looks all right. His contested shot is too low. His shooting touch is too low. And his defense is horrible. Um, <clears throat> worse than Harden's defense really is at this point. Um, and it is Harden, right? He's not. I'm being kind to say he's not known for his defense. So we go to our teams. So, all right, we've got a finesse shooting guard in PG-13. Well, we've got a 94. T-Mac, who's up on almost everything on page one, and then down on the defensive stats. We've got Harden, who's a 92. We've got this 91 Booker, who is at least the equivalent of a 93, maybe even a 94. So we have 92s and over, finesse, counting Booker. One, two, three, four. We don't need a 93 finesse shooting guard it's not to say you have all those cards but we've we have had access to those cards right we have our highest uh finesse point guard is a 92 boy if this card had been finesse wouldn't that have made sense because if we go to our strategic lineup, let's look at our, <laughs> our point guards in strategic. A 93 Curry, a 94 West, and a 93 Magic. We didn't need another strategic point guard at 93. That makes no sense at all, right? Literally no sense. So you can see, and, and let's, let's just go to the power lineup. We just got a 93 Duncan, right? Um, or at least had access to getting it. We just got a 92 um, Giannis who has a plus 40 boost to position to himself and to Duncan. So he is easily... Um, the equivalent of a 94, 95, right? 
and then we have a 92 Siakam that I can't sell for anything. So do we need a 93? Based on the cards that have been available to us, whether you have them or not, do we need another 93 power, uh, power forward? And the answer is no. No, a thousand times no. Um, how about a 93 power sh uh, small forward in Middleton. Based on the cards we've had access to, you may or may not have them. We got a 95 Tatum. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have opened him. We got a, a 95 Tatum. We've got a 93 Joe Harris, right? And, and even a 92 Watanabe. We don't need a 93 small forward. Look at the cards they gave us again. They're all at the wrong lineup, game styles. It's just mystifying, right? Mystifying. So this right here is not good and it's not just bad and it's not just head scratching, it's terrible. This is really terrible and you know, hey, if PG-13 and Harden can hit like that, hallelujah. But the way the choices they've given us in terms of the game styles for the positions is just, <laughs> it's just really bad, all right? So the fact then that we have access to 95 Bam Adebayo as the third card, if you want to take them, it just popped up after I claimed Harden in PG-13, and no, I can't see his stats anywhere. But he's a 95, bam. I think he's going to be a good card. Um, that is the card that saves this promo from being, you know, uh, one of the worst promos of the season. Um, we're headed in the wrong direction again. I'm sorry to have to say that, but I can't just, you know, I can't just be a cheerleader, right? Um, so with that BAM, that 95 BAM strategic center, let's go to our strategic lineup. That's going to help a lot. It's strategic because we got a 94 will and by being able to put a 95 BAM in, oh, don't open them, Ugh. a 95 BAM in for uh, 95 boosted to 99 Jokic, that does open up some uh, extra possibilities for non-matching um, non -matching cards in the lineup because I'll be matching seven very easily. And it also, if you just keep it at matching, well, shoot, if we put this, if we put uh, BAM for Jokic, we're matching nine. And now we can, you know, we can do all kinds of things. I, we could use any court, matching boosted court we wanted. We, could, we can use this one, which matches. We can use this one, or we could use the GOAT, you know, uh, 76ers one. So it does. BAM gives us options at strategic lineup, which is something we needed. But imagine if that PG-13 was taking the place of Buddy Heald. And imagine if that Harden could take the place of Irving and be finesse, right? So, um... Without going through all the sets and all the events, I've played all the events, except for the, the ones where you, um, you're picking who's going to advance. I'm not just going to blunder into those without sitting there and thinking about it, who I want to take. I'm not sure what those do down the road, but obviously it will be something if you get, you know, most of them right. Um, yeah, this, this is bad, really, really bad. Um, 
The promo itself is not too pricey. It looks to be grindable for at least a couple 93s for no money spent guys, so all that's good. The cards are crazy. Uh, not because the cards are stupid or they're bad choices uh, or they look like they won't play, but because they gave us the wrong game style. All right. Um, and it was apparent to everybody, I think, the moment they saw it. at least the, you know, the, the heavily involved uh, players of this game knew that as soon as they saw this, they just, they did what I did. They let out a big sigh and shook, shook our collective heads. So, yeah, these are bad. We don't need to talk about that anymore. Uh, just, you know, gosh, man. Look at what we have. Look at what we've had access to and then, and then you know, pick the game styles accordingly. And, you know, in round two or round three or in the finals, you, you know, you could have, you're probably going to have cards that are, are going to, you know, give us that higher rated um, shooting guard at strategic and vice versa at point guard at finesse. Um, but for now, why not give us what we need, right? Give us what we need. So, thank goodness for Bam Adebayo. I would have to say that that makes this promo at least fair, right? It, it takes it out of the terrible category and puts it, puts it to fair. I'm not willing yet to commit to good, even though PG-13 and Harden, you know, just didn't miss shots um, so that was a good thing but um, I can't get past the game style choices that they they put in there and so that takes away from options on our finesse lineup and on our strategic lineup by doing that um, so this bad Bad promo. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> you bad, bad man, Mrs. J Mr. Jerry. That's an old Seinfeld thing. Um, you add in, though, the 95 BAM, and he's 12,000 points, just like the rest of them. You can get them after you get the first two. So I got a feeling it's, that he's going to be grindable. That now changes the calculus. And, and takes us up to, okay, it's an okay promo, right? It's, it's okay. It's not good. It's not great. It's just okay. Because I've said it before, I'll say it again. At the end of the day, the single most important part of a promo is the cards. And if you're going to have different game styles, man, you got to get the game styles right for what is needed based on what we've already had access to or availability to. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. That's uh, my quick summation. Um, it was longer than I expected it to be. Of this promo, a little bit of gameplay with a couple new cards. And um, it's still way early, man. I was up at 4 a.m. for the reset. There are maintenance here in the Pacific time zone. So... <laughs> Peace out. I wish I could just go back to bed, but I've got stuff to do today, at least this morning and early afternoon. So I hope you all have a great weekend and uh, peace out. You know, there is some hope for this thing and his name is Bam Adebayo and he is a 95 strategic center. Peace out. <laughs>